Have you ever watched a trailer and then when you see the movie, the tone and the feel are completely different? That's how I feel with Where'd You Go Bernadette. It's not what the trailers depict, but is that a bad thing? Kate Blanchett plays Bernadette, who is a creative genius who is kind of in the middle of a midlife crisis and the whole world is seemingly telling her that she's nuts. I spent a good portion of the film trying to like Bernadette. She's quirky and seemingly self-absorbed, but mostly she comes across as just abrasive. And that is a tough thing for an audience to overcome if we're supposed to care about where she goes. Hence the title, right? Therein lies the conundrum of the film. The trailer is depicted as a comedic drama with mystery. But in reality, this is an existential drama with a little bit of humor thrown in. The title of the film is more about Bernadette rediscovering herself than someone trying to find a woman a la Where in the World is Carmen Sandiego. Kristen Wiig is in this also, and she plays Bernadette's neighbor, Audrey. And she's fairly unlikable for the most part but there are some redeeming qualities that do come to light later on in the film. Billy Crudup plays Bernadette's husband, LG. He's caring, but he's also detached, and you want to root for him, but he's pretty much flawed. A standout in this is newcomer Emma Nelson, and she plays their daughter, B. And I, I liked her. I mean, she really connected with me, and I loved that she got to impart some wisdom to the entire film and throughout the story, despite her young age. One of my favorite scenes in the film is this two-part event. We have Billy Crudup talking to counselor Judy Greer, and then in alternating shots, we have Kate Blanchett talking to her longtime friend, played by Lawrence Fishburne. The narratives each character is telling, they overlap, but what they do is they provide a really good backstory and development for the character of Bernadette. And I just like how it was done uniquely in this way, that it's, we're learning things in the past, but we're being told them in the future in a way that makes sense. And it plays out in a way that makes sense also that feels natural and it really works. And I liked that we get glimpses here and here told from different perspectives, but still giving us a more well-rounded picture of the character. The story is interesting, but it's also pretty heavy. And then you have the pace of the film, which it makes it feel a lot longer than it actually is. Not everything in the story drags, there just are points to it that feel like it's weighing it down, like it's hampering the story just a little bit. Now there's also a story device that is used as an impetus to make a character do something. And that's not a bad thing right there because that's like any plot device, right? But then it just kind of goes away. It's wrapped up really nicely and almost too conveniently. And then it's never talked about again, never discussed or brought up or anything. And it just felt a little cheap. Like that part of the story for how it really in retrospect was building up and then to have it just kind of go, oh, we're good to go, all done. I don't know if I buy that or if I like that part. The acting in this is top notch and, and really enjoyable too, even if the characters do take a little time to warm up to. There is a point in the story also that unexpectedly made me tear up. I didn't think I was connecting as much with the story as I apparently was in order for it to have that emotional impact on me. So if you've seen the trailers for Where'd You Go Bernadette, do not expect a lighthearted, comedic, just globe-trotting film. Like I said, it's fairly heavy with just a little humor sprinkled throughout. But it is touching and it could surprise you. It did me. There's no sex, nudity, or violence, but there is some profanity. I give Where'd You Go Bernadette four out of five couches. So have you read the novel that the movie is based on? What did you think about that? Does it, is it better than the movie? Is the movie better than the novel? Let me know in the comments below. If you enjoyed this review, please give it a like. Also, don't forget to share and subscribe. I'm Chris. This is Movies and Munchies. Thanks for couching with me.